Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Selectman's meeting for Monday, April 22nd, uh, 2013. As everybody I know is awaiting with breathless anticipation, it is town meeting tonight. And I have to give the state of a town in 61 minutes. So I please ask that you all be brief in your comments, and I ask my colleagues to be the same, and I'll try to keep the meeting moving along. Obviously, we should give every attention, matter the attention that it deserves, but at the same time, if we can do that quickly, that's best. All right, that's it. Um, article, or the first item I'm gonna take up is not on the agenda. Uh, it's something that I could not, we, we could not reasonably have anticipated that this was going to be coming up. It was only brought up to our attention uh, this afternoon. And that is in our, uh, the selectmen's report to the special town meeting, there's an error in the comments. The actual vote, I believe, is correct but the comment is in error. And so I want the board, uh, so I think tomorrow we're gonna try to issue a, through email and then on paper a correction to the comments. And so I would, if the board would, someone would make a motion under the comment under C, uh, remove the, the comment, it says currently, during the restriction period, leaf blowers could be used during the daytime Monday through Saturday and on Sunday afternoons. And actually, and on Sunday afternoons is incorrect. I move to make the, uh, the uh, change as described. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Five zero, thank you. Next up, the real number one, consent agenda. Uh, we have the meeting minutes of April 1st and April 8th. We have a vote on the sale of wine at Farmer's Market, uh, the Kipton Cumler, Lexington, oh, excuse me, the vote of sale of wine at, far at Farmer's Market, which is uh, Kipton Cumler, of uh, Lexington Consulting Group, which is doing business as Tur Turtle Creek Winery. We have a contractor drain layer license for Pecora Contracting Company, and a request bladder cancer awareness walk for May 4th. Um, are anyone here for, to speak on any of those items? Come on up to the mic and introduce yourself, please. Right here. Hi, I'm Linda Magrum. Um, Welcome, thank you. Thank you, and um, I'm here with my sister Tracy, and we're requesting permission to have a walk of about 20 to 25 people um, in memory of our mother who passed away in November to raise awareness for bladder cancer. Sorry to hear about your mother. But I read the note about the, the walk, and it looks like a, an excellent event. Thank you. Approval, we'll approval. We'll second. Any further discussion? Yeah, I just wanted to note that I, I forwarded a few administrative changes to the minutes, two spelling corrections, and, and one uh, change to the name of the uh, board's trivia team. Okay. <laughs> to the, the administrative Thank secretary. You for, with thanks those for clarifying that. Yes. And uh, I'm going to abstain just because I wasn't here for the April 1st, though I'm voting yes in spirit and everything else. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, four zero with one abstention. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Looking forward to the walk. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, request Common Victual Alliance. Joe Meward, uh, doing business as Hills. Of, excuse me, Bill's House of Pizza, thirteen forty-five Mass Ave. Come on up. You want to come on up to the microphone? You could just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, what the business is that you're starting, what your experience is, just a few sentences to help us understand. Sure, my name is John Awad. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, I'm a civil engineer, but I'm doing uh, food business uh, since 1991. I own my two shops, one in Easton, one in Foxboro. Uh, we did own more than one shop in one time. We have one in Albro one time. We had one in uh, North Albro. Uh, I came to the town because I like Atlanta very much, and uh, I had my friend, uh, I tried to help him up too, because I know he had a little problem in the location, and with my experience, I hope I, we can make it up, you know. Uh, I've been voting very number one in my town in Easton for a long time <laughs> with the food, and we have hopefully like, uh, like the variety we have. 
Question. Move approval subject to our conditions as set forth. Second, and, and just you're all set, you're good to go, but I'm going to make sure, as Mr. Grilly said, subject to conditions therein, you, you do have some uh, with the building, the plumbing, and the electrical. But I'll let you take that up with the necessary sure. departments. Sure. Thank you. Any further questions or comment? No. Looks all good. those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for you choosing much. Arlington. I hope I have a great night, too. Thank you very much. Okay. Next up, uh, we have a series of public, it is after 7 o'clock, and these are public hearings. Uh, we have three different requests for uh, Hackney licenses. We're going to start with David M. Lucker, who's doing business as Arlex Yellow Cab. And I just want to comment as we start these that we have a report from um, Marianne in our office who says that were we to issue all of the licenses that are proposed tonight, is Mr. Lucker here? I'm not seeing Mr. Lucker. All right, is um, move to table. Second. And I do have questions. Any any further discussion? No, but yeah, all Mr. Those Chair, would you repeat what you're about to say? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it in a minute. Oh, <laughs> yes, okay. let's we as well, we got the motion. We might as well do it. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. Of aye. Table. Aye. Table. Uh, so what I was trying about to say is that. If we approve all of these, which we have now not done, we would have had 40 licenses with a limit of 42. So we're approaching what we set in the big, what I personally consider is a bit of an experiment. We set 42 as the number. That started effectively <coughs> the beginning me. of this year. And so we're coming close to you know the end of April and we're going to run out of licenses presumably sometime this summer. But I, I still think that the situation is um, probably going to continue to change over the next few weeks uh, and months, and so I'm looking forward to seeing how it all rolls out. Uh, is Mr. Shafan K. Nath here? Yes. Come on up to the microphone, please. Good evening, everyone. My name is Shafan Nath. I was transportation business for, I used to live in New York for seven years I driving car service, and Boston around for over eight years. So. I think Arlington is a great town to work here. So I had a lot of people moving in. That's okay. why I applied here. Thank you. Mrs. Mahan? Um, I had a question on, I'm prepared to move forward on um, these licenses that my colleagues deem fit. But I did have a question on all three, um, and maybe through the chair um, and the town manager or town council. This may be something that we address in the future. I know that. Um, there has been some talk about the city of Boston and the Hackney licenses and the insurance mm -hmm. um, component in terms of when I look at these three licenses uh, to the previous one, and I'm not sure if the gentleman has just arrived, and the current one for a liability insurance has the 2040 on bodily harm and um, bodily injury. And then I don't quite understand, that, but the third one has a million dollar combined single limit and I don't know if that it applies to bodily injury or likewise and the reason I raise this is that I know the the city of Boston has been looking at their hackney licenses and this has nothing to do with any of the three applicants who appear before us it's what has been done but um, in view of the fact that this is something that the city of Boston is looking at um, I feel the town of Arlington we should also do the same um, so first, I don't know if the town manager or town council is um, prepared to sort of address this and or what I would like to do is, A, have Arlington undertake the same exercise that the city of Boston is regarding um, li insurance liability um, policies. And I, I've dealt with that as a court reporter in terms of medical malpractice, medical liability. Um, if we could, A, what they feel about undertaking that and B, if after four or six months we come out with some sort of guideline, is it something we can do retroactively or we have to wait until the license are up for renewal in a year? I'm not sure if I explained that adequately enough. So if, if I understand you, you're thinking in general, you're wondering whether we should evaluate whether or not we're requiring <coughs> enough assurance in our licensing process? Is Correct, that, only okay. because it's been pointed out and I've had the experience yeah. where sometimes people have more than $20,000 worth of yeah, injury. Yeah, I don't right. know if... Uh, Adam or Juliana, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, the, um, 
Yeah, unless Adam wants to jump in, sorry. The uh, 2040 and then five for property damage is set in the board's regulations. I believe you know, that just carried through from the earlier version of the board's regulations, and I believe that's the state minimum. If the board wanted to revisit that and increase it, it certainly could. Um, it approved this version of the regulations in March of 2012. It could certainly make this and any other changes it wanted to do um, for, you know, in that. So it's, it's something that is in the regulations and it's, you know, your staff determines whether each applicant meets the requirements set forth there. If the regulations were changed, those regulations would go into effect or, I mean, they would go into effect I think it would be very difficult to, to put that change into effect in the middle of a license year. So what I would suggest is that it would go into effect at, at the next renewal. So how about this, Mrs. Mahan? Uh, I had been planning on us taking a look at the taxi regulations late this year before licensing because I wanted to see like how we were doing in our first year of the new plan. And so let's, if it's okay with you, let's agree, like let's talk about putting that in in like October, November. Mm -hmm. and. Um, including that as part of that discussion. I'm, 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 that makes perfect sense to okay. me. It's just where the city of Boston yep. is also going through it. I think we should also do the same exercise. So, so let, I, I'm, that's fine with let's me. Let's do it. Come Halloween. Mr. Greeley. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If we're at 40 and we limit it at 42, I'd like to amend this application and say we approve one at this point for this particular licensee, and then we have another one that follows. So. So you're making a motion for approval, but approval, approval of only one. one. Okay. Mr. Kira? Um I'll second Mr. Greeley's motion, firstly. But um, I think uh, Ms. Mahan's point is well taken, but I, I think Mayor Menino had actually asked the legislature <laughs> to take action on that on a, on a statewide basis, potentially to, 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 to uh, raise the insurance limit, so we, we should be watching that as well. <coughs> and, and I think what he does. also said was under the police department, they have a half need division, yeah. and he asked also that, yeah. you know, along with the state, and I agree yeah. with Mr. Kiro. So what I'm saying is, you know, we agree that the state's yeah. also looking at it, but perhaps our town council and. Um, but I, I do have one one uh, question on on this application. Um, we, we ask for the, the color scheme or insignia to designate the vehicle or vehicles, and I know that. Uh, the last application that we tabled was extremely uh, specific about how it would identify its cabs. Um, and your, your application, sir, says, um, I think it says black or white or silver. I have a, I have a two vehicle. Uh, one is going to be a black Avalon, what? Toyota Avalon 2011, and next one 2011 Toyota Sienna. So. And so you don't actually have a marking or a, a shield on your, like, you No, there's a livery plate on it. That's a limo plate. I'm talking oh, about on the, plate. is there any paint on the door that says taxi cab? No, 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 no. So it looks like a regular car? Regular car, yeah. But it's played on the Liberty, you can, that's why we have the issue. Do you have meters in the car? Hmm? Meters? No. Just so how, how would you determine the price? Oh, this is like a Liberty, I have, to, this is business. Livery, like a, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, for oh. transportation. Yeah, on so. We don't, unfortunately, I'm afraid then there's been some confusion because we don't license livery. No, I understand. If, I, if you get me a permit, then I can change it or I can buy two cars. I can change the plate. Oh, so, all right. So if we were to approve you as a taxi, mm -hmm. that ta like the, so there's the taxi regulations say it has to have a meter, it yes. has to have markings on the side of the door of the car, it has to have all that stuff. So, but we, and so we need to, I would, but you haven't set what any of those are going to be yet. No, yet because I have to approve it from you guys. Okay. If you give me the permit, then I can go to R&B. They give me the taxi plate. I know that. Otherwise, how can I get the taxi plate? If you guys give me the approval, right. then I go to the R&B, change the plate. Yeah. Mr. Greeley, I'm unclear what what the plate has to do with getting a meter inside of the car. So the people can see what the charge is. You know, we only allow so much per mile and per minute. I don't know how much. What does getting the license have to do with you putting a meter to make it a taxi cab versus a livery? Yeah, depend. I, I can put in the meter. I need approval from you guys. But you don't yet have the meter. I, I, re, I uh, withdraw my motion. I, I think we want to wait until he creates so, a taxi that he wants a license for. Yeah. So generally, uh, what we see when, we, when an applicant comes to us is that they say, uh, I have a red car, or I have a red car that I have, and my plan is to paint 
like red cab, door, cab on the side, and they talk, and they've got the meter, and they've got all that set up. Um, there is, I understand a little bit about of a chicken and egg problem here in terms of like he doesn't want to invest all that until we give some sort of approval. Uh, but I, I, sh I share Mr. Greeley's concern that like we may that we may not have gotten you know between the chicken and the egg yet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mr. Byrne. Uh, how long do uh, we, I don't know this um, <clears throat> exactly, how long would you say the process takes at the RMV to, you know, go through the application and, um, you know, get the I don't know, maybe one up? day. Uh -huh. so maybe, maybe one or two days. So after. maybe mm -hmm. if we table this until he comes back, yeah. until he goes, so I'm, I'm suggesting tabling this until a future meeting, until you go to the RMV and, you know, go through that process and then come back and I think we can, you know, continue this discussion then. The one thing I will say, if I remember correctly, and, uh, is that if we have 90 days, once we issue the license, the, per, or the, the taxi cab license, the person has 90 days to get on the road. And so uh, there is, we definitely don't have an expectation in the regs that you'd be driving, you know, the next day or whatever. Yeah. I think following this conversation, I feel like maybe um, the application is not quite specific enough and may, maybe be worthwhile for us to, to pull us back and, and maybe have another conversation maybe with the office or um, uh, to, to, to go through the application and, and make sure that we have some specifics on the markings and, and yeah. such. Yeah. Okay. I, I have a one question. Some other town, like in Newton, Bethlehem Taxi, they have a taxi, they have the Liberty boot together. Mm -hmm. Liberty, they have a meter on there too. Yeah. I don't know how they work, but I, but I can say, the different I am confident that having studied this too much for the last two years, that livery is, general, is done by the state, so I can't, unfortunately, I can't help you on that one. Mrs. Mahan? And, and that's what I was going to say. For Arlington, mm -hmm. there's livery mm -hmm. and there's taxi, mm -hmm. and they're different processes. So what you want is taxi. Yeah. What you came in, what, what's before us tonight is livery. Mm -hmm. So we can't give you taxi privileges when you're asking for livery. Livery would be the state. So what we're saying is, Mr. Greeley and my colleagues, is you need to follow the taxi yes. rules. Mm -hmm. And then once you do that, we're going to table it to allow you to get the necessary um, approvals that you need for taxi. And I understand what you're saying. Like in Newton, taxi and livery mm -hmm. are the same thing. Mm -hmm. But in Arlington, they're separate. Yeah. So we're, we're right now, it's not that we're saying no, we're saying we want you to get everything you need for Arlington, because mm -hmm. we treat them separately, in order to get taxi. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, I think, did, Ms., did someone make a motion? I, I, we don't have a motion or? at the moment. We don't have a motion. So yeah, do, you, you can do it if you want. I thought Stephen moved to table. I, I, I did. didn't actually move, but I will make that motion. Okay. I moved to. Is there outside. a second? Okay. okay. So I do have further, does anyone else, I have a comment if I must. So I think that if I'm, if I think about the way I envisioned the process working when we rewrote those regulations, we would, what our goal is, is to make sure that he's running a good business, that he's someone of character, that, we, that he's providing a safe service to our, um, to our uh, residents. And I think that we can do that without him having already had uh, the um, meter installed. I, among other things, Mr. Carabello, our measure, weights and measures, has to uh, you know, test that meter before he actually gives the paper, before it goes to Marianne, before Marianne gives the paper. So I, I actually, I'm not, the fact that the card is not currently configured appropriately does not give me pause. However, the fact that we don't have a, a the fact that we don't have a scheme or insignia yet, that one does give me pause. And so for that reason, I'm in support of the tabling it. But at the same time, I don't feel like all the other things are necessary before I'd support something. Okay. Mr. Greeley? Well, with all due respect, um, excellent points, Mr. Are Chairman. we going to disagree? Yes, we're going to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm moving back. I, I want to just say it's the first time you've been wrong, but I allow three in a year. So this <laughs> no, no, I mean, your point is very well taken, but I would rather give a license to an experienced taxi driver. Uh, uh, and, and so, I mean, I, your points are well taken, uh, but I would rather see him come to us not just seeking to be a livery uh, in, in Arlington, because all these cabs want the Logan Airport runs. Yeah. You know, so we need to be fair about, you know, he's got to be in a stand and, and take his turn with others that would be called, whatever the case may be. So okay. we only minorly disagree. So we have a motion to table. Is there any further discussion or questions? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. 5-0. Aye. Aye.
Thank you. So uh, he will contact. You, you want to talk to the office and talk to Marianne a little bit. Um, I'm Marie and I will talk to Marianne tomorrow and they'll be able to help you out. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, one other question. My, uh, my colleague uh, is my roommate. So you work all together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have the same situation, same case, same thing. So. Is that um, Mohammed so, Shahzan? Yeah. Mohammed. Do you want to come on up to the microphone and say hi? Oh, here's the next one. Good evening. Thank you. Good gentlemen. to meet you. Good to meet you. So, uh, do you want to tell us? So, are your your? Yeah, it sounds like I guess he's your roommate. So you guys are in the doing the same business. Yes. Yes. And so you own one car, is that well, right? I have one car, and I apply for the one. Sorry? I have one that, uh, livery, one car. Okay. One livery car. Yeah. yeah. And, and again, the livery versus taxi. But so he has livery right yes. now. Yes. And he, but, and so do I understand, I'm going to put some words into your mouth. Do you wish to become a taxi cab driver? Like as in, do you wish to move from livery to, or add taxi to what you're doing? Yes. Okay. Is that, okay. Uh, do I have questions? Motion? Yeah, I would just point out that I think we have the same issue here with the, um, with, with the uh, insignia and the markings, although this is a little bit more specific. It's just black, but it doesn't, it's not really, yeah. you know, we, we need to have some sense of the, the, the name and the, and the insignia and such. Um, I, I don't know. Is it appropriate to read from the other application as an example? Yeah. So, for example, we had another application on the agenda this evening, and... Um, you know, for this question, you know, what is the color scheme or insignia you, to be used to designate your vehicle or vehicles? Yellow in color with a pocket watch type clock on both front doors and telephone numbers on rear doors, small sign on roof, lighted taxi or yellow words on it. So just to give a sense of how you identify your company, how to contact your company, how people can get in touch or, re or report the company if there is any issue. With it, that, that's, those are the types of things that, that we look for in that. So. Okay. Mr. Greeley. Yes. I, I, is this car licensed in any other community currently? Are you driving in any yeah, other yeah. in other communities? He's liberating. Which ones? Mm, the Honda Odyssey. No. Do you drive in another city or town like Newton, Boston, Cambridge? Medford. No, I work the Arlington, Cambridge, Medford. Arlington, Cambridge, Medford. So you are currently working in Arlington? Yeah. Livery. 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 Okay. Yeah. All righty. Thank you. Mrs. Mohan? If I could, in the same with Shafan, who yeah. you know, um, what we're saying is you have livery right now. Yes. You want taxi. And there are steps in order to be taxi, in, in the same with Shafan, yes. if you could let him know. Yeah. Um, so what we want to do is make sure you, you and Shafan yes. can also do taxi in Arlington. Yes. And this woman right here, Mrs. Kropelka, if you call her tomorrow, mm -hmm. town hall, she will tell you the steps that you need because my colleagues are saying we need to know that you have the, the taxi meter that says how much you owe, and it takes along with you know what your cab, not your livery, but yeah. your taxi cab is going to look like. So if you if you and Shafan could speak to Mrs. Kropelka, okay. we can, she can help you get everything done together, and then we can vote this at, at an, another meeting mm -hmm. when we have everything done. We need like two, three things. As soon as we get those done, you're all set. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do I have a motion? Move to table. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk, thank see you again, you. I'm sure. See Mr. You. Lucker? Yeah. All right. Uh, we have a motion to take uh, item three from the table. So moved. All those in favor, taking from the table, please say aye. 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 Mr. Lucker, uh, uh, go uh, talk to us about your application. Um, I just want, would like to speak to uh, the insurance regulations. I already, Kayari a lot higher insurance than the state uh, requires. I'm pretty sure I'm carrying a 40, 80, and 100,000 property damage. 2040. 2040? That's, we have before us bodily injury 20, bodily injury 40, 
and damage 100. But that wouldn't apply to you right now. I, I'm just saying I want to look at it in the future. So you. No, I, 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 I was mistaken then because it's in the past years they, they must have made a mistake because in the past years I was paying that premium for a higher. Well, if you want to check, because if you're paying that and you're not getting credit for it, then you should. Yeah, I think there was a mistake so if you can there check because that. I, check I that. know I had the same agent. Okay. Well, they must, must have made a mistake, and thank you for pointing that out. So you currently hold two licenses? Yes. And they're on the road? Yes. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your business and why you're looking to expand? I've been in business since 93, um, and I heard there was some kind of confusion about the name. The reason the name I put that there is because I rent radio rights. So I didn't want, I can't drive around, you know, you call Yellow Cab, I can't have Dave's Automotive show up at your door because then there'll be that confusion, you called. It's, I, maybe I worded it wrong mm -hmm. uh, and that's a good possibility. It, you know, I mean, it says Yellow Cab Association on the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. It does not say Alex Taxi. I made a mistake there. So what does it say on the door? It says Yellow Cab Association like my other two do, and I figured that, you know, I rent radio rights, so. What does radio rights mean? I'm afraid I don't know what that is. Um, you call a dispatcher, yeah. and, oh. he, and I pay a fee for you, Got to it. for him to answer the phone, and you to dispatch my taxi to whatever address. Okay. And I was just trying to give you the, what company that it would say on the door. That's, I could put like every other city, owned and operated by Dave's Automotive. I thought of that after and I discussed that with uh, Mary Ann and she said to bring that as a point to you so that you know that it's mine, yeah. that's not an issue. So if, Mr. Greeley, if you'll permit me to, I know it's unusual for the chair to go first, but I'm gonna try to, the, he's, raised, he's talking about the question that I raised through Mary Ann. I follow your lead, sir. Um, and so I just tell you, let me tell you what my, the confusion was. We have, so we have someone in town obviously who operates as Arlington Veterans Taxi. Yeah. And we had someone who came in earlier this year or late last year, I forget which, who wanted to do Veterans Taxi of Arlington or something like that. And we said no, because the name was too similar and we didn't want to create confusion. Uh, yeah. And so what we have now in the town, of course, is, and these are both, you, both companies exist already, is Arlex Taxi Corp and Arlex Yellow Cab. Or even if it's Arlex Taxi Corp and Yellow Cab Association, um, it, sorry, Arlex Taxi Corp is doing business as Yellow Cab. So Yellow Cab versus Arlex Yellow Cab versus Yellow Cab Association, no one can tell them apart. So that said, I'm, I'm, since you're already existing and the, ex the confusion exists, we're not making it any worse. And so I personally am not opposed to this on that grounds. But I would say that I encourage you and Mr. Bonnie to have a conversation and figure out a way to differentiate yourselves such that people can tell the two different companies apart. You. Do you think it's a good idea to put owned and operated underneath uh, that insignia? I mean, because that's... I, I would actually, it's, I mean, this is up to... cities do. Yeah, it's up to you, but I would actually even say choose a different color or like, you know what I mean? Or, oh, but you want the same phone yeah, number. Yeah, then that would be an issue. Uh, when I pulled up in front of your house, you called... And it's this yellow. Company, and now yeah. it's a different company showing up at your house. It looks like I'm trying to steal work. Or, I understand what you're saying. That's the, the issue that I was... Got it. Okay. That's why I put that there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't have. You, want, you know, that on the rear quarter or any place you designate a place. I understand. So yeah. Say that's mine. I understand that. what you're saying now. No. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Greeley. Uh, so, do you? So you currently own three three taxis. Two. You own two. So you intend on purchasing two more? Yes. From you. But you don't. No, no. I understand. But you're going to buy two more cars. I already own two more cars. I have presently have a car outside now. I only have all the equipment to set it up. I could set it up tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. I, I thought you currently had two already licensed by us, but I do you. have two already licensed on the road right now. That so you're are asking yellow, that are working every day. So you're asking for two more. That's what I. Yeah. So you will be purchasing two more taxis. I have two more cars already purchased. Oh, and then I already just, own them. They're just not on the road. They're just not. I got and you. inspected and so forth. And it's taxis. Okay. Because I was waiting for the right. okay. So with this approval, you'll have four on the road in Arlington. Correct. Okay, thank you. And I could have them set up, you know, the other two set up by the, you know, at the end of the month. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Mahan? Uh, first, I'd like to move approval for uh, the additional two. I take the chairman's comments that if you have a conversation with Mr. Bonney in terms of uh, 
mm. eliminating any sort of confusion that you have. Let it work, work it out amongst yourselves. But I also very tertiarily understand the dispatch agreement um, between cab companies um, that you already have. So I understand the need for the retention of the name. So I, I think what the chairman was saying is if, if you have a conversation with Mr. Bonney in terms of, you know, do we have different identify, identifying factors with our cabs in terms of color or, as you said, putting owned and operated by. Um, That's why I like, all, right. like and, Boston, and then, you see it on me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then if you could just follow up with your um, insurance company because. Yeah, I will. We I'll have get on that we, tomorrow. And, I, and the only reason I'm I say that is if you're, exactly, if you're paying for it and, and there's more coverage, A, we want to know that I can drop and, it and off give you credit as well as if you're being charged for it, you should be able to do that. Uh, I, I'll drop it off to Mary Ann tomorrow. Or, or to when, you know, within I mean, the that next is, week. That, that is incorrect. Okay. okay. Thank you. No, you're paying for it. You should get credit. Thank uh, you. Mrs. Mahana's motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. And, I, Mr. Byrne. and um, just to follow up, I think that the audit operated is sufficient to differentiate both companies. So is there any uh, place you would like it underneath the, the insignia on the wherever, back door, like wherever you think it's now? visible enough? Is that yep? You can use your own discretion. Three inch letters. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Ms. Rice, you like you, Ms. Rice, you looked like you had something to say earlier. Was oh, I no. misreading it right? Okay, sorry. Oh, uh, no, just a little matter with Ms. Kropelko. She's going to clear okay, it up. Okay, we're good. So. Okay. okay. All right, so we have a motion and we have a second. Is there any further discussion? No. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, approved. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, next up uh, for approval, a uh, letter to MassDOT. Mr. Greeley, did you have some comments you wanted to? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first, I have one editorial change on page two. I want to remove the word flawed, and that title should just read the question. But I do believe we should move forward with this. I think it's time for us to finalize the plans and to move forward with the, with the uh, bidding. I mean, I would just say, you know, the I know there was, uh, you know, the 50-50 on the question, and I understand, but I believe four lanes have been considered at every step of this design process. Uh, the first uh, design said we only needed one lane each way, as is the majority of Mass Avenue in Arlington, only one lane on each side. We compromised on the second design to go to three lanes, uh, two heading east the same way that it is and one coming this way, based on the fact that question wasn't about the project but a preference whether you'd like four lanes or three. But when we did have an actual hearing on the full project, there was no question Three quarters of the people there spoke in favor of this. Uh, we're ready. We need to do this. If we don't, we lose all of this money. I, I don't know why people think we can just change the design at 99% when it's already been considered before. Uh, so I think it's time. We want to, in the most uh, um, uh, uh, strongest terms, poor English, uh, necessary, we need to. Uh, encourage Mass DOT and Federal Highway, let's move forward. Uh, it's important to Arlington, it's needed in Arlington, and I believe the majority of the voters, uh, all of you know that I ran recently very strongly on this question and won 17 out of the 21 precincts. So I, I think there's ample evidence that the town of Arlington wants this project. Let us unanimously vote to support this letter and send it. Thank you. Second. Is there a motion in there, even? Yes, that's my second. motion. <laughs> uh, second, Mrs. Bahan. Um, I agree with Mr. Greeley's um, revision to the memo as well as um, the remarks that he made that I won't repeat. I do want to say, as the selectman who initially um, did not vote at the 25% design review, and the reason why was because um, the plan as proposed was four lanes to two lanes. Uh, we then had public hearings, 50 and 75%. We came up with uh, four lanes, which is two lanes um, vehicular traffic going into what I call Cambridge, one lane vehicular traffic and bicycle, I mean bicycle on both sides, but coming into Arlington. Um, and one of the things that I've been very comfortable with and I've said to a lot of people, especially in East Arlington, is that the original plan was put out, a compromise was agreed to, um, as adults and, and 
people in, in public office and, and residents in the town, I think, I know everybody agrees that that portion of Mass Ave needs to be redesigned. It was pointed out that there are several areas in Arlington alone where Mass Ave has been redesigned for one lane, uh, starting by like CVS going up, as well as when you get into the Heights, as well as you get into Lexington, and there hasn't been any catastrophic um, events from that. And one of the things that I felt very comfortable about was that when the compromise was reached to go from two lanes to, to the four lanes, and meaning two, two vehicular into Cambridge and one vehicular coming from Cambridge into Arlington, um, Mass DOT and the town manager and others have said to me that uh, what we're going to put in place and the funding that we're going to receive, if for some reason there are some uh, instances that this proves that this wasn't the correct formula, the correct way to go, the cor correct design, we're not doing anything that precludes a future Board of Selectmen in 10, 20 years or whomever else, a planning department to say, you know what, we need to once again redesign it again. Now I know um, some of the um, opponents or proponents of the, uh, the current question of four lanes have said, you know, we can uh, apply again, we, we can get money and funding for this. Yes, we can, but it might be 10, 15 years out, and we're not guaranteed it. We're guaranteed this funding right now. We're not doing anything that precludes us from, you know, testing it and see something that we need to adjust in the future. If we don't do this, the, I truly feel the residents of East Arlington, in terms of pedestrian safety, I think that's the number one thing, pedestrian safety. They're going to say to this Board of Selectmen and this town manager and planning department, when we don't get that funding and we drop back on a list to seven to 10 years, we can't wait that long. And then we're going to have to pay for it. And we already have gone to the taxpayers enough in terms of school infrastructure, fire station, Sims, um, development up there we can't afford to do this and we can't afford to pass this on to the taxpayers so as someone who initially did not approve of the project I am extremely comfortable with doing this and I think in the end uh, people will be satisfied with what happened and if they're not we're gonna be able to fix it uh, mr. Byrne um, one to address Kevin we're very happy to have you back <laughs> and um, to, I will support Kevin's motion, although I <coughs> think that the use of flawed is an understatement <laughs> in um, this instance, but um, I'm happy to continue my support for the project and look forward to getting it going as, um, as I think all of us do. So thank you. Mr. Carroll. Thank you very much for bringing this forward. Um, I also very strongly support going forward with this. Um, you know, I spent over six hours this past Saturday attending community meetings in the various precincts. I know Ms. Mahan was there with me for part of that time. You know, all we hear when we go to the, the various meetings are different infrastructure needs in the town the peop that people would like to see happen. And we're always very cognizant of the constrained resources we have in the town. And we have a golden opportunity here where we can do a major improvement to the fastest growing part of our town on someone else's dime on this, the state and the, and the federal government's dime. I absolutely agree. I was, you know, we were all at the, at the hearing. We heard person after person, resident after resident, um, come up and voice support uh, for this project. Also, contrary to the, uh, <clears throat> I'll say, myths that have been circulated that all of the business community in East Arlington is against this, we heard businesses come out. And, and support this, recognizing that the, the benefits to uh, this this um, this part of the town um, for for safety, for infrastructure improvement, for for really harnessing the energy that we're already seeing uh, unleashed in East Arlington. We have to move forward on this. I have no doubt. I know. I'm sure that every single one of us, the day of the vote or the day after the vote, heard people who are confused by the wording of, of that question. I agree with Mr. Byrne. I mean, flawed is an understatement. People who supported this project and accidentally or almost voted um, the opposite way from, from their intention because of the way that this question was worded. We had two candidates for the Board of Selectmen. We had other candidates for town meeting the, 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 um, who had very clear positions they articulated on this project. I think, Mr. Greeley, every piece of literature you sent out referenced your position on this project. I think that every piece of literature that, that was sent out by the other candidate for selectmen references project in, in the literature. And 
that those positions, I think, were extremely clear to, to, to people. And to me, that is the much more accurate barometer of where public sentiment lies on, on this project. We, we have to move forward. I, I'm glad we're taking a strong stand and we're um, letting the state know where we stand with this letter. I'm, I'm, thank you very much for the work and putting this together and I look forward to voting for it. Sorry, Lynn, one more administrative change which I meant to make at the beginning, which is I believe Adam Chapdelaine, as town manager, should, should sign this and vote with us. Mm. He and his team have by far done the yeoman's work on this. Uh, and I, unless you object, I really think your name should be right on there alongside of ours as well, you, representing your whole team, Adam. Are you okay with that? I think that's a good idea. Okay. In, in an administrative change yeah. where it, it says the Arlington Board of Selectmen, if we could just add yeah. and town manager. Yes. It, I think yeah. it appears three yeah. times. All right, sounds good. I, 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 uh, so we have a limited amount of time left in the meeting, and this is not actually technically a public hearing, but at the same time, if there is someone here who wanted to talk about this, uh, now would be a good time. You don't have to. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Come on up to the microphone, and I do ask that you keep your marks brief. Thank you. I appreciate your input. <laughs> My name is Frank Cunningham. I live in East Arlington. I've supported this project as a pedestrian in all the time that we've been involved in it. And I wanted to speak to what Ms. Mahone said about there has been channelization projects on Mass Ave and in Arlington and in Cambridge. And in my experience, everywhere it's been done, the traffic has flowed more freely. So thank you very it. much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Anyone else feel the need? Good. Oh, oh I almost closed. Are you okay? <laughs> I think you could. All right. Uh, any for, oh, I, I did have um, one comment that I wanted to make, which is uh, in this letter, we talk about what the goals of the project were. And I am really, and I think it's really important to, I want to briefly read them to you because I think it would improve pedestrian safety and mobility, improve cyclist safety and mobility, improve the environment for transit users, maintain motorist mobility, minimize through traffic on local neighborhood streets, create more orderly traffic flow, improve access to local businesses, and enhance the streetscape. And I think that these are all important, and I think that they are all found in this plan in as good of a balance as we could possibly hope for. And so I also am voting yes. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Five zero. Six. Six. <laughs> Adam, I apologize. Six zero. Did you vote? I didn't see you vote. He didn't vote. He didn't vote. Wait, wait, you didn't vote? I demand to hear his vote. Yeah. All right. You vote, Adam. Uh, last item, correspondence received. We have a letter from Superintendent Boquillen of, of Minuteman. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 One note on that is I believe that uh, Adam and I are meeting with Belmont to discuss Minuteman in a week or two for uh, over coffee. So we'll see where that goes. Um, does anyone have an appetite for doing, doing new business? No, I'd like to make a motion that this uh, Board of Selectmen meeting reconvene with town meeting and that our adjournment is concurrent with the adjournment of tonight's town meeting. Second. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.